Hello everyone and welcome back to Lux and Wine and welcome to my new filming space. Um, I talked to you guys a little bit about it on Instagram. We actually kind of switched uh, the offices up in the house. We actually had a second guest room. And so instead of having a second guest room for all these people that don't visit us because of COVID, um, we decided to go on ahead and split up our offices, especially since I'm kind of working from home more long term. So the front half of this room is like an office space and a getting ready space. And then I got this shelf here and then was able to just place some of my favorite luxury pieces. Um, I also have a clothing rack coming and some more little bits. So um, I'm really excited to share it with you. So I hope you guys like it, something a little bit different. Um, but anyways, I have a very special special unboxing for you guys today. Oh, and before I forget, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. So today I have a very special unboxing from Mulberry. And this is, this has been a process. So let me get into it. So I actually ordered this. I called the store in New York because it was sold out online and ordered this and then had it sent. You guys guess what it is? Go. This is the Mulberry Zip Top Base Water in the color Rose Water. And this color is extremely difficult to find. I actually saw, I know a couple of people that have this. I think Chic Professor has a, a Bayes Water Zip Top in this color. I can't remember if she has this size or the small size, because there is the small size is actually bigger than this. This is the mini, and then there's also a micro. But the first person that I saw this on was Chase Amy, and she has the small version about almost a year ago now. So that's how long I've been trying to get my hands on this bag. Um, because I saw it then and I just wasn't sure. And then I just really decided I wanted this bag. I actually already had a pink bag in my collection that was by Michael Kors that I've actually had on Poshmark for a while trying to sell. And so I originally was gonna wait until that sold, but I've sold a bunch of other things. So I went on ahead when I found it and got it because it had come up on Fashion File a couple of times, but the prices on Fashion File were pretty much as if you bought it from the store uh, when it was on sale. So I saw that it was on the website on sale, but it was sold out. So I did a store search and it said that it was available in store in New York. So I called the store in New York and talked to a lovely associate named Raquel and she's really sweet. And she um, actually pulled this for me from another store. So anyways, let me show you guys a little bit. Um, it comes with a shoulder strap so you can go crossbody or you can carry a top handle. Mulberry leather smells so good. And like the quality of this bag, I really think that Mulberry has done a really good job of staying affordable in the luxury space. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still think it's like, it's definitely up there. It's definitely like a lot more affordable than if you're buying like the same bag, same size and a full leather bag from Celine. It's like three times the price. So this is a really great, I think, value for money when it comes to the luxury space. So the interior of the bag is that really deep, beautiful, like mulberry color. Um, it smells amazing. So anyway, when I first got this, I actually got it while uh, my husband and I were in Dallas. I actually had it sent to Dallas. I actually carried it for like three or four hours in Dallas when I went shopping. And unfortunately, the interior of the bag dye transferred onto the edge of my wallet. In fact, let me grab my wallet to show you guys. So when I got this bag when I was in Dallas, I went on ahead and took my things and put it inside and I carried it. And I had been shopping for probably about two or three hours when I pulled my wallet out to pay for something and I noticed there was dye transfer. Cause um, you guys know I have this uh, limited edition Damier Ben is a coin purse from Louis Vuitton. And the thing about this is that it has rose ballerine. It's rose ballerine on the interior and it has rose ballerine glazing. Well, that glazing got a little bit of that dye transfer on it. Now it luckily came off. Anyways, I was able to use it, put my things inside a dust bag to put it back in the bag until I got home, of course called Raquel. And um, of course I sent that bag back and then Raquel tested it in the store and she found that it was uh, transferring. And I, I went and did a bunch of research. I could not find anybody else talking about this issue with this bag. I'm confused because I would feel like if it's that sensitive, that 
a lot of people would be talking about it. But anyway, I really couldn't find anybody talking about it. She went on ahead and switched the bag out for me. And this is my second one. Um, unfortunately though, when I took the packing paper out, I can already see that there's a little bit, I, you're not gonna be able to see this on camera, but I can see that the, the packing paper is ever so slightly pinkish. Now on the original bag, it wasn't. So I really feel like what's happening is just the bag and being in the elements, if it just gets too warm, gets too cool, temperature changes, I don't know what's causing it, but I think that it's just gonna be how the material is. And you know, I'm okay with that as long as I know that. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have to buy a bag organizer. So it's so weird because I know so many people that have light wallets that use these bags. So I really don't know why I'm having a problem that nobody else seems to have. Um, I mean, we all talk about dummies or like don't put a dummies or wallet in a Damier Ben Speedy with the red interior. And I know Louis Vuitton had bleeding interior problems in the past, but I just had not heard that in relation to these bags. So if you have one of these bags and you've had that problem and you were able to solve it, please let me know in the comments down below because I'd be really interested to know, like, do you know, do I need to like scotch guard it or something? But in the meantime, um, I already reached out to Original Club and I'm gonna have them do a custom organizer for me for this bag, um, the same way that they did for my Valentino tote. I'm gonna go on ahead and do that um, just so I don't have to worry about it. I'm kind of sad that I can't enjoy how pretty this interior is, but honestly, with the shape of the bag and how kind of wide it is, and how small my things are. I actually think that an organizer is gonna work really well for me in this bag. Um, there's a part of me that does wish that I kind of slightly got the, that I got the larger size, but there is another color that I wanna get. I really would love to get the larger size in either the this colored exterior, or there's also a really beautiful blue color that I'm just waiting to go on sale. But anyways, these are really beautiful bags. And like I said, I, I'm not gonna hold the dye transfer on the interior problem against it, but I just want you guys to know that that is definitely something that can happen. Um, and not just with one bag, but with a couple of bags. I mean, Mulberry will, they, they do treat them. And if you're near, like if you're in New York, I think in the United States, there's only boutiques, I think in New York. I don't even know if there are any in California anymore, but there is no boutique anywhere in the middle of the country. They used to have a boutique in Texas, but they don't anymore. The only way to get anything done with this is to send it off, but luckily they do that. So they know that. So um, generally if there's an issue, I can send it to New York and then New York will send it to England. They'll deal with it and send it back. That is my new reveal. Like I said, I'm so excited. I really, it was hard to find this bag in this color. Um, it's clearly a very popular bag in a popular color. And I really like the, um, the handle drop on it. It's definitely got more drop to it than like a Birkin 25. I can't wait to put some new outfits with this. Although this is really kind of more of a, a spring color, I kind of feel like blush is becoming this like all year round neutral. So I really think this is gonna be a great bag regardless. So I'm actually kind of feeling like I wanna go kind of unexpected with this and kind of do this with like this and really kind of come up with some unexpected pairings that are like, feminine and edgy. Like I'm really feeling the feminine edgy combo right now. So that's really kind of my inspiration right now. In addition to this just being a really good work bag too. Um, I think it'll be really great once uh, things go a little bit more back to normal. At the time that I purchased this, I really didn't know how my work was gonna go. And now that I kind of have a better idea, um, I may or may not actually carry this to work, especially since it doesn't have feet. That is the only con that I really don't understand why Mulberry did. Like they really should have feet on this, but I still think it's a great bag and the leather is really, really durable. So I feel like it's going to be a bag that um, I can clean if it gets dirty, like to a point. As is with most luxury fashion houses, they work on their bags. You can get them clean, you can get them repaired. You can really get that full service that we're used to with all the other luxury houses with this one as well, only for whatever reason, they're a lot faster. So anyways, if you have a mulberry bag, let me know in the comments down below. Um, thank you guys so much for checking this out today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys like the new studio. Let me know. Um, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you next time. Bye everyone.